Hey there, baseball fans. Nathan Rohde and Shooter Hunt here with the latest episode of Coffee and Curveballs. Shooter, you're back on the West Coast after making a cross-country trip to the Fall Underclass World Series. How is Lake Point, man? Great, great weekend at Lake Point. Had all the guys there helping out the Georgia squad. Um, and again, what a setting to be there. I got to see some really good underclass talent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So tell us about some of that talent that you saw. Obviously, the champions of the event was 643, and they had a few guys that kind of led the charge. Yeah, real quality Georgia program there, 643. Um, definitely one that I've known about for a while, and they continue to grow. Kudos to them for coming through and winning that tournament. Cole Turner. An uncommitted 21, young 21, had a great weekend. Just hammer balls. Playing third base, actually hopping the mound a little bit, um, but a bunch of base hits. I think he's going to help somebody out at the next level. Um, a 22, Will Cawthon, uh, did a great job behind the plate. Loose hips, can really receive, and then a natural feel for the barrel from the right side. Another good one to know. And then casual K. Physical 6'1", uh, 2022, third baseman. He banged some baseballs around. But again, congrats to 643 and on big championship at the inaugural Underclass World Series. <laughs> nice. That's a great name, too, in Casual K. I imagine he has a pretty easygoing style play. So oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, moving on to uh, an Illinois catching duo uh, that you saw in TJ Schuyler. I'm going to assume I got that right. Uh, and Bryce Nevels. What do you got on them? Yeah, uh, two Illinois guys playing for the Hitters 23 team. Uh, we talked about the Hitters 22s back at the fall championships, but the 23s got a great group too. Um, Teacher Skyler was outstanding behind the dish, at the plate, right-handed hitter, 6'1", about 165 pounds. He's going to grow into a strong frame, but it was a real relaxed setup. Everything flowed from the right side. He hammered some baseballs and did a nice job behind the plate. And then Bryce Nevels um, from, from Chicago, Got there, did a great job behind the dish, uh, threw out some runners, both of them did, and then he kind of locked it down right side. I liked him more and more as the weekend went on. Two good 23s to know in that Illinois 23 class. Excellent. And you also had some talent from Colorado, split amongst oh. a couple of Slammers teams. Let's start with Slammers North. What did they bring to the table? Yeah, the Slammers had two squads there, so I was going back and forth when they were playing. It was a lot of fun. The Colorado 2022 class is outstanding, and many of them are on the Slammers team. The North squad uh, ended up beating the South squad in a semifinal matchup, but Gabe Springer, shortstop, uncommitted in that 22 class. He's a switch hitter, loved the way he swung it from the left side. Real loose wrist, was hammering the ball to all fields before he kind of um, rolled an ankle and, and, and had to sit out uh, defensively. But really good one to know, athletic kid. Um, and then Victor Andre played third base next to Gabe um, throughout the weekend, just a gamer. And uh, on championship Sunday, did a great job banging the ball all around the field. Uh, but great showing from the Slammers North squad. And I'm sure there will be a rematch between those two teams. <laughs> I'm sure there will. But uh, tell us a little bit about that Slammers South squad as well. Yeah, the, the marquee guy was in that 22 class in Colorado. The number one ranked player is Dylan Carey. 6'2", 170 pounds, broad shoulders. He's going to add a ton of strength. Was playing shortstop throughout the weekend. Great hands. I think he ends up shifting over to third um, it, it, when it's all said and done. But it's a powerful right-handed stick. And he just has a presence on the field. Uh, really good athlete. Like the way he played. Another presence I like, Blake Young, behind the plate. Um, for that team, he just grinds it out. He's blocking everything, catch and throw, um, and only about 5'10 or so, but he gets after some balls and, and gets his swings in. And then Jake, uh, I want to say this right, Olguin Pacheco. Uh, he's a center fielder for them, high-waisted, still maturing a bit physically, but it's an easy left-handed stroke. He actually had an inside-the-park home run. He was able to turn on the Jets a little bit with a defensive miscue, but he can handle the stick. Love that Colorado 22 class, and especially the Slammers bringing it. Excellent. Now, I can't believe I'm letting you do this, but tell us about Jace Peoples, who is actually a 2024 out of Georgia. Yeah, and I don't like to call him 2024 because he's in eighth grade. He's an eighth grader. There's no year on him yet, but he was so good and was fun to watch. I mean, really plays hard all the time, and it, it's just advanced feel for the barrel. He looks much more mature than a 24, moves really well, plays the game at a, a high level. Um, just love the way he competes, so keep that name on you until next summer. 
Yeah, maybe even longer than that. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, wrapping up here, tell us about the Georgia Jackets and what they had. Well, Nico Sinisi was a, a shortstop for them in the 22 class, 6'2", wiry athletic kid, liked the way he approached um, each plate appearance that he had from the right side. Some good swings, can spray it to all fields. Um, I, I think he's going to definitely gain some more strength in the future, but just looks like a guy in Georgia who knows how to play the game. Um, and then Cole Munhall, who's listed as a catcher, but I watched him on the mound, and he was 86 to 88, and it's it's a power arm. He was able to spin a mid, creeping up in the upper 70s, breaking ball, sharp swing and miss pitch, but I suspect he's going to get some big outs in the back end of a bullpen for some guys in the future. But that Georgia Jackets team, that 15U, really good. Excellent, and I'm sure we can expect some more content coming from you on the Fall Underclass World Series. Oh, absolutely. Phil Kerr, myself, Kyle Coletta, the, the whole crew down there, we'll have a lot of stuff coming out from this one. Excellent. We'll be sure to head to prepbaseballreport.com to check that stuff out. And as always, for Shooter Hunt, I'm Nathan Rohde. This was Coffee and Curveballs. And until next time, we'll see you guys at the ballpark. <laughs>